What's going on guys, Aussie here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the Europa League Road to the Final card and DD to review today. A card that is going for 420,000 coins. These cards are going for a decent amount. Let's just say that. 73 pace, 89 defending, 86 physical, 77 dribbling with the 72 passing as well. 100% you can upgrade the pace. There's no doubt about that. Now, when it comes down to the difference between this card and the gold card, plus two pace, plus three dribbling, plus two defending, plus two physical, plus four passing, which is pretty impressive, and plus two shooting as well. Now, if we're talking about how Leicester are doing in the Europa League, nine points out of three games. Yeah, we're talking about Ndidi guaranteeing a upgrade, but not just that. We could be seeing Ndidi easily get into the 90 plus because I really doubt Leicester City are, are going to go out anytime soon. If anything, I could honestly see them challenging for the Europa League title. So we're going to see an NDD card probably to its full potential and that is obviously going to increase the pace by a decent amount as well. Six foot for a CDM, really nice. Medium high work rate, perfect CDM work rates. Three star skill moves. I know a lot of people like four star skill moves, so they like the Renato Sanchez's and all of that. But for me, I don't do skill moves, so it doesn't really matter for the CDMs. Four star weak foot though is something I always love to see. I like to see three star. I don't really mind if they're three star too much, but four star is just going to make life 10 times easier. Let's all be fair. Shadow chem style, 10 chem. You already know. I had to put a shadow. 82 acceleration and 84 sprint speed is not amazing. And imagine if I put an anchor. It would be like, what, 77 acceleration and 79 sprint speed. That's just not going to happen. Shadow is definitely the way to go. Shooting, I'm not even going to talk about it. Passing ability. Short passes look really good. Long passes, they're probably going to be a bit inconsistent. But I feel like they will do. Dribbling ability. It's a bit of a sticky one. Let's just say that. It's a bit of a sticky one. 72 agility. 70 balance. 75 dribbling. It hurts. It hurts too much. 91 reactions. 81 ball control with the 83 composure as well. But this is where it gets interesting. This is where you start rubbing your hands. 99 interceptions. 83 heading accuracy. 94 defensive awareness. 99 standing tackling. 99 slide tackling. What do you want more? Seriously, what do you want more? This guy's going to be an absolute beast when it comes down to putting in the tackles. When it comes down to physicals, they don't look bad. They really don't. And if you really want to, you can obviously go for Anger Chem style if you feel like the shadow is not really doing anything to his pace. And you can obviously boost the strength to 90. But, but, but because I am using the shadow, his strength is only 80 at this current moment. 89 aggression, 94 stamina, and 92 jumping as well. So we're talking about a 6 foot player with 92 jumping and 83 heading accuracy. I'm going to try that near post header on a, off a corner. And I'm hoping... It goes in because he's got jumping to obviously win the header. Now, when it comes down to links, Poland, Suzoko, Virgil, Samedo, as simple as that. Fatty, Dembele, and Matuidi making his first appearance in the team for some odd reason. I don't know what reason, but we move at the end of the day. Either way, Ndidi will be playing in a 4-2-3-1 in that CDM position. Now, if you really want to, you can play him in a centre-back position. You really can. But will you allow 82 acceleration and 84 sprint speed in that centre-back position? I wouldn't mind that. And that is why I am going to try him in that centre-back position as well in a 4-4-2. But let's get into the games. Now, the first thing I do want to try out is obviously how he feels on the ball. Please do not feel terrible. He doesn't feel too bad, to be fair to him. He does not feel too bad at all. And that's interesting to see because I really thought with low agility and low dribbling, he would have felt like a, you know, like a truck on the ball. But he doesn't. He's going to cut back. He's going to go back into the middle. Look how readable he is. NDD putting a perfect tackle in as well. I'm just going to go for that switch all the way to the other side. I tell you what, it's a really, really good ball. With how much long passing? And he's able to do that? Interesting. Now, I can definitely tell, even though he doesn't feel too bad. Actually, wait, hold on. I'm going to do this one more time. Not bad ball, but not perfect ball. But as I was saying, I've realized you can't really, you know, go sprinting forward of him because he will eventually take a bad touch. And he also doesn't keep the ball very close to his feet. 
Nice, really good tackle from Ndidi. And that's something I'm noticing straight up. He puts in really, really solid tackles to the point where it doesn't really bounce back to the player. If anything, it rather obviously bounces to me or it bounces to my teammates. Really good interception. And that's because he's six foot. I honestly feel like if he was like five foot eight, five foot seven, he would not have got that interception. He's going to give it back to Mbappe. That's quick one twos. I love his pace. I absolutely love his pace. With that shadow chem style, I don't feel like his pace would be like that with the anchor chem style. But obviously, I haven't tried it, so I can't really say. Yeah, he is definitely a player that you do not want to run with with the ball. He's just not that kind of guy. You want to take it very simple with him. You just want to, you know, kind of shield off the play and stuff like that and just pass the ball after that. That's great shielding. Keep shielding him. There you go. Even though he has that low strength with the Shadow Chems, though, he's still able to shield off players like Mbappe. Now, I'm going to be honest. I felt like Ndidi was going to be one of those players where you just wait for the perfect moment to go in for a tackle or you wait for, you know, to bait your opponent into an interception. But I tell you what, he's actually like a, a pressing CDM in a way because he's actually so, so fast. You can get out straight to the player as soon as possible and really press them into mistakes. Now, if we are actually talking about his attacking presence, he doesn't really have one other than the fact that he gives you a passing option the majority of the time. It's like having Suzoko there where he's going to give you the passing option. You're going to receive the ball with him and you're just going to pass away. You're not going to do any fancy business. He's going to give it back to Yeda. There you go. He, this guy's playing consistent one too. So all I need to do is obviously read the passing lane. And with Ndidi being six foot, it's very easy. So we are going to try this near post head of his because I want to see if he can actually get his head onto this. With his amazing jumping ability and him being six foot, he should be able to maybe even score. No, oh, wait, he's got the ball. Fake shot. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's how we do it, boys. I didn't even know I had the ball. I was looking at the camera. I look back. We have the ball. I did a little shielding, fake shot into the open space and just go for an easy finish. Going to come on the side that he doesn't want me to come on. That's the side that everyone hates. If you actually go away from your goal and just go to the other side, people absolutely despise it. And especially with NDD's aggression, he's always going to fight off the opponent. Going to push Avaran. Dembele. I could have gone for a slide tackle there, to be fair, but I just wanted to keep it very simple. And as you clearly can see, I am playing Ndidi in the centre-back position right now. I, because I really do want to test him out to see if he is a, like a really, really good centre-back. He should be, to be fair, because of his tackling, his pace, and his obviously physicality. He's going to pass straight there. I'm going to try to cover the up. And do you see the fact that Ndidi could get around the player and just go for a tackle? That is what you want to see. And that is what six foot players can do. Whilst five for eight, five for nine, five for ten can't really do. The fact they can't wrap their legs around the player. Ndidi, nice. Great defensive awareness. Just going into the passing lane and obviously intercepting it. We're a really, really good ball as well. Let's see if we can actually score off this. Fake sure on the corner. Ball roll. Ah, I tried to get it back to uh, Matuidi. So it is time to review him. Two games played with the one goal. We all saw the goal. If you tried to if you tried to ask me how I did it, I'm going to be honest. I have no idea. I went for the header. I look back on my uh, I look back on my monitor. It obviously hit the post. It came back to me. I had no idea. I shielded the guy off. Fake shotted. Finish with the four star weak foot. Simple as that. Ndd can do it on both sides of the pitches. But either way, let's all be real. Ndd, unbelievable player. He does definitely remind me of a Zakaria, without a doubt. Who would I take, Zakaria or Ndd? Zakaria. I would still take Zakaria. Zakaria is just unbelievable in this game. While Ndd is unbelievable, but not just as good. 400k. I feel like that's a decent price. And you might be honestly questioning it, saying... How can you honestly say 400k is a decent price? The reason I say that is because I'm looking at how this card is at this current moment. And I'm thinking to myself, Leicester's guaranteed to go through the group stage. So that's, so that's already an 87 overall. How far can Leicester really get? If this card gets another two to three upgrades, trust me, you're going to regret not picking it up for 400k. It's just as simple as that. He's unbelievable. Defending, physicality, pace, even a bit of dribbling to his game. 
it's all there pretty much. It really is. Six foot, great tackle reach, great interception reach. You saw multiple times how he would wrap his legs around the player and just grab the ball. That is what you want from a CDM. If you can tackle at really weird angles and not give a free kick away, it's always going to be overpowered. Medium high work rate works in a center back position, works in a CDM position. Three star skill moves, doesn't matter to me. Four star weak foot, really good for passing and really good for finishing somehow. Either way, moving over to the pace and we are going to give the ratings now. Pace, 8.6 out of 10. Insane how fast he is in transition. I really could not believe it. I'm going to be honest. Going into it, I was thinking to myself, right, he's going to feel decently fast, but he's not going to feel extremely fast. And I definitely do advise you guys going for that Shadow Chem style, no matter what. Shooting, I have to, usually I avoid shooting. I'm not going to, like, I'm going to be honest. Shoot, you know, shooting, especially if someone has 52 finishing, I try to avoid the rating on that. But because he did score a goal, I have to give it to him. I'm going to still give him a low rating, but... It's decent, okay? 6 out of 10. Passing ability. Short passing, unbelievable. Especially those RBAs into the middle. Wow. Long passing. Very inconsistent because of the vision. Once that vision gets upgraded a decent amount, we are going to see this guy ping through balls down that line like there's no tomorrow. For, but for now, passing, 7 out of 10. Dribbling ability. Really nice on the ball in some occasions. But he's not really that kind of player that you just, you know, you got to sprint with in a straight line or you're just going to go on these little skill runs. No. So just keep it very simple. Shield the playoff and obviously pass it away after that. Dribbling, I am going to give him a 7.5 out of 10. Defending, 10 out of 10. He was unbelievable. I'm going to be real. Interceptions, standing tackles, everything was literally spot on. And if you are looking for a player that can put in a solid tackle... This is your guy. It's just simple as that. Physicality or physicals, let's say. The only thing that does let him down is his strength. But once his strength is upgraded, yeah, I'm rowing my hands. You already know what that means. I am very interested in this card and I might even put him in my team if he gets a few more upgrades. But for now, physicals, I am going to only give him a 9.2 out of 10. But an overall rating out of 10, it has to be a 9 out of 10. It really does. He's just unbelievable. He's a perfect CDM, especially for the Premier League. And if you do manage to pick him up for 400k, good on you. That's all I'm going to say. Good on you. Because if you don't, you're going to regret it. It's just simple as that. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment. And for now, peace.